Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we're continuing our Clash Royale series. And um yes, I'm recording this uh, basically immediately after the first one. I don't I want to make sure these videos aren't way too long, but I'm excited to really continue into it. So yeah, we're just going to get right back into it. So uh, plus, I really want to try out Goblin Cage. You, you probably won't be seeing this until a day or two after the first video comes up. Alright, let's adjust ourselves. Alright. Interesting first play by Tiger over here. Plus, I did look at the video, and the audio for the most part seems good, like the gameplay to recording. And uh, the face cam works pretty well. But yeah, I'm pretty happy. Oh wow, look at that, we are... Alright, let's actually wait for a second to... There we go. Oh, let's go. W minions value right there, right there, for sure, for sure. All right. Now, um, now I'm not gonna go in too crazy. Okay, trying. Could put a knight in front of the mini P.E.K.K.A. so he has to put something, or the mini P.E.K.K.A. is gonna just shred the HP. See, these have to be bots. Oh shit! Anyway, or maybe. Ooh, I like both these cards. I mean, the, this isn't the most, like, viable card, though. Um, but... For early arenas, it might be fun to get a bunch of Spear Goblins down. But Goblin Cage is what we have right now. <sighs> Let's go with the extra level. If I can, I'd probably sub that in for, like... I don't know, like... The night? I'm making the most wackiest deck, but that's the fun of it. Anyway, so we're in the on the game too, so let's go ahead and get a giant mini Pekka and we'll save up for minions. Uh No, seriously, why aren't they putting more elixir down? I want to get into real players. I swear, imagine if like half these people are actually like real and I'm just being really rude right now. I hope not. Wow, that was quick. We're just gonna jump on through these uh, lower arenas. I gotta turn off phone notifications. My fault. Anyway. So, next up is some gold. We don't need that. We need XP. I'm not even gonna pretend to know I know how to pronounce that username. Oh, I did not wait the the you know thing. I... 
Wow, that was my fault. Alright, so. Let's see what we talked about here. I guess since I'm on Clash, since we're on Clash Rail, we can talk about some Clash Rail stuff, so. Naturally. It'll be pretty uh, interesting. Uh, since they're actually doing new cards, new cards again. I wonder what they're gonna do next, honestly. They said like new goblin cards, I believe? Or was that, they said new goblin evolution. It was really cool they have like a goblin specific tab. It'd be really cool doing like a goblins only challenge at some point. Well, not for this account, obviously. This one, well, for the main account, of course, but this is for the progression videos. Sweet gold. Alright, two more matches. We can get a gold chest. There's always something nice. We're just throwing stuff because uh, I haven't really fought against a player that. Oh, wait a minute. This, this player might be cooking. Interesting. This goblin hut's gonna be kind of annoying. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do actually is like Okay, this is actually a real player, isn't it? This player's cooking actually. I'm being cooked right now. Alright, let's apply some pressure on him. Force him to do something. We're actually gonna go arrows here. Because then I can get some mini P.E.K.K.A. hits. Eat. Okay, I'm gonna do mini P.E.K.K.A. F I mean, not mini P.E.K.K.A. Uh. I had, to get, I, had to, I had to focus up for once. That was so funny. Let's do this. Why not? Well, I got a couple of hits on that. Let's go ahead and mini peck of that. Oh no, I put that way too high. Alright, yeah, so that was my fault. They're actually gonna get this tower. Which is fine. So I think I'm gonna actually do something kind of crazy. We obviously don't want that many packets to kill our tower, though. There you go, we got that tower. Goblin cage on defense. Arrows here. They're definitely pulling out all the stocks. Um, kill that immediately. I could just throw a that that. A lot of arrows value there. That's why I want to keep the arrows over the fireball. A lot of things that can be arrowed. Alright, first game that actually uh, lost the tower in, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. Crazy. So, going back to the earlier talk about new, like, uh, troop, Clash Royale troops, I definitely want to uh, see some... Interesting. I really like their three new cards that they had. It was pretty interesting. It's cool they had like new spells and everything. Really, uh, would be really cool. 
this point would be some kind of like I'm trying to think. Interesting. We're gonna drop these gob like the tiny bit of elixir, but that's okay. Not the end of the world. Let's get us prepared for swarm cards. Okay. I want one ready arrows for that. Okay, maybe there might be like a counter push here. So let's arrows, knights. Let's go ahead and just there. I really hope they've been doing a couple of spells between the void and the goblin curse. Definitely been pretty happy about that. Almost took a hit there. I think this person did spend a bit too much on elixir. I think they overcommitted. I think I'm gonna use that to see what I mean. The fireball value. It isn't. It wasn't really. I mean, there's not a whole lot of fireball value so far in these cards. There definitely is some, like, cards, like, that are the line, but, like, right now with this spread. Okay, we unlock that. Got enough to do an upgrade on the knight. Which is good. I'm gonna be able to get to the next arena. Maybe I'll spend some gems to get that gold chest open. That might be worth something. We're not too far from getting a level up as well. It's just not a whole lot of ways to get cards right now at our stage. Because we haven't unlocked like the pass royale or events where I can get like season tokens. See, players really like using that. Me too, me too, honestly. Oh, this player is going in pretty aggressively. But, uh... Okay, that's a bit of arrows value there. Oh, this one survived the arrows, but... It, this, that one spirit goblin isn't gonna do a whole lot to stop this push. Now, granted that that goblin might come back to be a bit of a pain. Actually, not really. This John's gonna get a couple of hits though, but it's fine. We got goblin. Oh, those minions are gonna give him good value though. So anyway, troops, let's see, will be some, hmm. I feel like it, oh, the type of thing they said is like another fly, flying unit. Don't think they've done that in a while. And another, um, maybe like a flying common, because uh, commons haven't been released in a while, right? When's the last time we had a common? Like, it's been a while is what I'm trying to say, like, because we obviously got a rare epic legendary and then obviously like a little prince. So we got like every other like thing, but that. Shoot. Um, I'm gonna have to take some mini Pekka hits because this isn't gonna fully take it out. I didn't even take one hit. Well, that's surprising. I was gonna take like one or two, but. I'll do the even trade for that.
I'll go ahead and take one more tower out. Anyway. Hmm. When it comes to troops, man, uh, maybe just some people focus on this game. It's hard for me to think of specific. To be honest. No arena, that's awesome. I can't really think of any like specific specific troop types. I have thought of a what do you call it? Let's just spam stuff. Why not? <laughs> anyway, so good arrows value? No? Arrows? Ooh, those two minions are gonna help me along with this. Sweet. Anyway, I probably don't need anything else. I'll probably take a couple of hits, but I'm or one hit, but well not. Yeah, those minions are gonna get some value. Well, no, but I guess not. Wow, we just annihilated bro's HP. So basically, it would be it would be really cool for like a tower troop, like to summon like, like I've seen it before in some like threads, but like. Maybe we could like some like small like skeletons or small like goblins, but obviously the HP of the tower would be really low. Maybe the tower itself can't attack or attacks are really slow. It'd be really cool to have like a summoning thing like a witch or something. But or maybe like you know it'd be interesting. Um for for a tower troop to like just be like a wall essentially. Like, it doesn't attack. But it has like more HP in return. Like, would that be worth something if you like, like giving it like 1.5 times the health or two times the health, but just make it a wall or something? No, <laughs> I don't know. Just, just, just kind of, just kind of curious. That's the last thing I'll say on tower troops is actually, um, I do want to mention to be honest. I feel like what they really should do. Though, not for like a new one or anything, but like an idea for. Oh no, that's gonna get a couple hits, three hits. Oh my gosh, that was that's not. Dang. Anyway, that might be our first match we lose. I think I was playing far too recklessly. Actually, this actually looks like a real player actually, like just cause like the username. I don't. But also. uh Taking this game way too casually. Then again, they just put a push like that down. Well, obviously, because yeah, this player is definitely more intelligent than the lot, the that bots or other players. Imagine, imagine. I don't know what I was gonna say. See, this is the kind of thing that makes me think I have like ADHD, even though I've never been like diagnosed with just because like I be. Zoning out. Well, I always get one hit. I'm gonna actually goblin cage like. Dang, it's gonna lock on not enough elixir. Okay.
Yeah, we're not gonna get any hits. Mm. But of course, we're not gonna win every match. You win some, you lose some. Plus, again, my my first push wasn't very great. I've been taking this game far too lax, and I think I'm being punished for it by uh, this person. Now I'm gonna pretend to know how I say that. My tower's still alive, though. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, so you know how to fireball a tower. Makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. I should have assumed. Minus 14 trophies. That isn't much. I can come back from something like that. It's not... After that last play. Okay, we can probably come back this game, it looks like. Oh, wow. From losing to getting like a straight up three crown, wow. Funny how that works. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Ooh, between these two, I feel like I, I would want to take the bomber. Now, I don't know about adding it in here though. I feel like each of these cards have given me, like, value for the most part. I feel like the knight is, like, the least needed, though. Go ahead and level it up for the sake of XP. Got a king tower upgrade. Some gold, gems, and, like, skeletons. Tombstone. Goblin hut. A bunch of goblins. Yeah, this is what I mean. We'll play about one more match and we'll call it a day. Not much else. Had some battling and classic stuff. Alright, we got a goblin hut. Bomber. Okay, okay, okay. So. I feel like goblin hut can be really obnoxious. I guess that because bomber is level four, it makes sense to replace the minion just because the two level difference. We'll see how well this deck works. All right. Let's not go anything too crazy yet. Looks like they have their own. Looks like we shade the same neural link. I can't use the arrows yet, but it'd be good for the next volley. Huh? There you go, like that, the next volley. Okay, this person defended wealth minions. Let's place Goblin Hut to get some units to... Now we can put the giant... Let's actually get a bomb right here for that splash in case. In case we put goblins or something. Mm. 
Okay, we'll actually go ahead and use the goblins. Yeah, go goblin hut is pretty chill for, uh... Oh, I didn't even know just how much damage it did up there. I was just... Also got a bit of arrows value right there. Spam stuff up there. All right. Looks like that worked out. Well, I guess because I'm getting off tonight, it actually makes sense to spend six gems and then get this chest to start opening. So next time we we log on for uh, the episode three, we'll have some stuff ready to go. All right, let's up. Oh my gosh, I didn't even open this tile. That's funny. Um, so let's go to upgrade skeleton. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have enjoyed playing this and getting further in. Just really playing the early arenas again and seeing what it's like. And I will say the Goblin Stadium and Bone Pit make a lot of sense in terms of the units. Barbarian Bulls, couple of Barbarians, and. The cannon kind of fits in there because, like, I I I can assume I don't mean I obviously they're not the same thing. But when I play, I play Clash of Clans, right? And barbarians and like uh cannons are like the first things like you see, kind of. So, but it's in it's interesting. Spell Valley Builders Workshop is a couple of things that were built. That makes sense. And I guess the Electric Wizard made the Zap spell and the Bomber. Hograder doesn't make as much sense there, but Pekka's Playhouse, yeah. It's very like Epics, where Arena has it all like royal stuff, which makes sense while the prince is there. Frozen Peak is when you actually get to the Cannoneer, which they probably should buff, like give like a 5% was too much of a buff when it comes to that kind of stuff. But honestly, if they gave like a 2% or 3% damage buff, I feel like it would be like as viable at least i think i could be wrong about that totally maybe they should give it back as five percent buff hey, uh, hmm. jungle arena is funny i remember when barbarian hut was like all the way back down in like the bar Barium bowl, which made sense for it, but they moved it. Wonder why they moved it. They could have put it here instead of Mega Minion, but I guess they wanted like a second flying unit, I guess. Which makes sense actually. Yeah, they Oh what though? That's a lot of gems. No, they got me acting up. First purchase discount. What the heck is this? Look at all these offers. One dollar for a thousand jump, man. Man, I, I those value is crazy. But do we keep it free to play? Like, what if I bought this all like off account? Like, that's what one, two, three, four offers. I get a bunch of stuff. <sighs> Dang, this would really progress our account a lot. But I want. But I wouldn't be free to play. See, I see those. Usually offers like stink in value, like to be honest. But like, but for like once, because of all the gems you get, I could get like a king's chest, like as well. Well, I probably wouldn't buy that immediately. But I get like a bunch of gems, some gold. I level up the heck out of these troops.
dang. You know what? I might. I might. <laughs> I'll have to think about that. So if I do buy these offers, um, I gotta buy them soon though, within a couple hours. Jeez. Then, yeah, we'll definitely be a lot further in. And, uh, we'll have enough gems for, uh, well, yeah, we'll have enough gems for, obviously, oh, dang, I'm prob probably not going to get that top offer, but I'll get, like, yeah, those four. Alright, just because the gems. Because the rest of like, kind of get with, like, time, but this would help, like, progress our levels significantly. Anyway. If you enjoyed this video, I've enjoyed playing this game, honestly. And we'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.